So now we're, uh, as of yesterday, when we when we gave the order, uh, FEMA is totally involved, in addition to everybody else. And uh, a lot of progress is being made, so I look forward to speaking to the governors. And from what I understand, we have uh, pretty close to 50 of the governors and some territories on, and we have a lot of — just about everybody showed up, so that's uh, — very nice. And it's important that we're tracking the data on a county by county as as granularly as we can, because we can look at whether mitigation is working in those. We'll get feedback from your community. This will only be solved if every single person in every single community takes responsibility to ensure they're following the presidential guidelines that were put out several days ago for the two weeks of stopping this virus. And so we can ensure that we have prioritized all stockpile elements based on the needs and the case structure that has been reported. Reporting becomes critical. If we can't see it, we don't know how to unlock the stockpiles. So, this both test negative and test positives are going to be absolutely essential as well as hospital admissions and CCU um, beds so that we understand exactly um, what is required from the federal government. The president asked me to emphasize we want to encourage every governor on this call to convene your leading health care providers today uh, to, to take inventory of your uh, medical supply needs and we urge you to uh, remind them that they need to look to their supply chains first. We'll prioritize accordingly. Uh, and uh, any states that are in the middle of critical response, uh, know that we will work with you to get you what you need. Other states, uh, you need to talk to your health care leaders, providers, and make sure that they are going to the supply chain.